Hello. Um, I've uh, spoken to Eric Garner several times, and I would like to pass a message on to his friends and family. Uh, Eric Garner was killed in New York by the New York City Police Department. And uh, the first thing I did after that, before I spoke to Eric, um, right after he was killed, the first thing I did was go and look at his Sacred Light content because they were just saying, you know, what a horrible man he was. He was a criminal and all this stuff, all this propaganda. But uh, Eric Garner has 71% Sacred Light when he was killed, and uh, which is a very good number, by the way. You need 51% to generate a tunnel of light to return home to heaven. And I had asked him, I was like, okay, are you okay? And he said, yes, I'm doing fine. Um, and I asked him if he had an easy transition. He said, yes, I crossed over right away. And, uh, you know, he was, he was a big man. And I, I liked the way he spoke because you could just tell, just by listening to a couple sentences of this man when he spoke, you can tell what a benevolent man he was. And, um, you know, of course, when I looked out, I could, he just had so many friends, and his family was so big and loved him so much. And, um, you know, I, this is, I think, one of the reasons why his murder really affected me, because he was such a nice guy. And uh, he had said to me, well, heaven is fine and all, but I would rather be back home with my family and friends. And I asked him, I said, okay, well, what do you want to say? that I really, really miss my family, and I love you so much. And I had told, I had told him then, uh, you know, I'm so sorry what happened to you. And um, he had said uh, that the police officers were, uh, all the, the police officers in that group, they were all chipped. They all had a ther chips in their head. And he said, they also, he said, the police officers that killed me, were chipped and also had what you call micronized robots, me. I, would, they, I call these little artificial intelligence units uh, micronized robots because sometimes they can have two million of them inside our bodies. And, but they can be easily dissolved with zero point energy, so they can be healed and removed. And the etheric chips, they put chips in our head. Every police officer in this country has an etheric chip in his head. And, um, well, I shouldn't say everyone. The, like 99.99999% or whatever. It's just literally everyone. And he has said that they were under a very heavy influence, these officers, and also under very heavy mind control. Because basically the chief of police in New York wants to create uh, chaos. And because when, when we're in a state of chaos, it's very easy for them to come in and do all these kinds of horrible things to us. So the chief of police is, you know, basically looking for dark-skinned people, dark-skinned humans, you know, to have the officers murder them to create chaos as part of the New World Order Illuminati agenda. And, um, and then I asked him, I was like, well, what is next? I, you know, I'd asked him if he was going to uh, be born in Agartha so he could rejoin his family. And he said, no, not yet. Because he wants to wait and see what happens. Because he said, soon my family will be fully conscious, as you know. And I'm waiting for that so I can speak to them before I decide what to do. And what's going to go down is when Eric Garner's family and friends become fully conscious, they'll be able to sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. And uh, it seems that the family has uh, chosen Venus to move to because soon we'll have a choice. We'll be able to live on four planets in the solar system um, or we'll be able to go other places. But most people here on Earth are going to move into Gartha. And uh, he said, please tell my family we'll be able to have conversations then because we may move to Venus. And if that happens, he's going to be uh, incarnated. He's going to choose a lifetime inside Venus to be with his family. And I said, I saw that you had 71% sacred light when you were killed. And I wanted to verify that. And he said, yeah, uh, that's because of what I did for my family and others. In other words, it's like the more that you help people... Uh, with um, a pure heart, the higher your sacred light goes up. And he said, I w I'm so grateful to have been there with so many people who really, truly love me. And he said, thank you, and God bless you all.
but so this is what I would like to share with Eric Garner's family. He's fine, his health is okay, but he's unhappy, which is very rare in heaven. He just misses his family so much. And he loves you so much. And he wanted to thank you, you know, for your relationships and your love and that you will be speaking, uh, you will be able to have conversations with him very soon. Thank you. Have a nice day. And if you love Eric Garner, I love you too. Thank you.